Vladimir Ishkov is a victim of Putin's system. He had a glittering future ahead of him. At the age of 29, he was deputy chairman of the Russian parliament. And at 41, he's already on his fourth term as deputy. But he's not standing in the upcoming elections. This is a falsification, manipulation, imitation of an election. But in any case, this is not an election. Vladimir Putin has changed the rules of the game. Today there are no single member constituencies and to be elected a deputy you must be on a party list. Vladimir Ryshkov's party has been banned and no other party has agreed to include him in their list. The parties with which I have had negotiations have been prohibited by the Kremlin from including me on their list. The Kremlin is doing all it can to prevent there being any serious opposition in parliament. The majority of the members of the Liberal SPS party wanted to make Vladimir Ryshkov one of their main candidates, an asset against the party of power. But in the end, the leadership decided otherwise. In the Kremlin's eyes, because of him, the Liberal SPS party could have broken the 7% barrier which allows them into the Duma, and the Kremlin does not want that. On the eve of the elections, Russia's opposition's sole stage are small meetings which are not shown in the national media. The party of power is not taking any risks. It wants a crushing victory and an absolute majority in parliament. They're not sure they'll get the 75% of the votes they want. And because of that, they have completely liquidated any form of competition. Only the parties that don't criticize either Putin or his program or the ruling party have access to television. For Vladimir Ishkov, the secret of Putin's popularity is precisely television, which keeps the population in ignorance. Russians don't know any of the abuses committed by Putin's entourage. For instance, the Russians don't know that a third of Russian oil is exported via the Swiss company Gunvor, which is owned by a friend of Putin, whose name is Timchenko. For the first time in 15 years, Vladimir Ishkov will not be a deputy in the next parliament. But he has been reappointed the head of his democratic group, Russia's Choice. But Ryshkov doesn't know if he will stay in politics.